Time in a Bottle, my friends, by the late, great Jim Croce. Um, Croce, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, beautiful song by a great, great singer-songwriter, sadly no longer with us. Um, Time in a Bottle. Right, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to split it into three bits. The introduction, the verse, and then the middle section, all right? It hasn't really got a chorus. The verses are sort of the chorus, if you like. So, introduction, verse, middle section. Now, download your paperwork now. You know my idiot-proof stuff. What is that, say you newcomers? Idiot-proof stuff is this, my friends. This is your 12 uh, frets on your guitar. This is where your fingers will go, which I've painstakingly worked out for you. And under, down here, underneath, you will see these numbers. What do these represent? These represent your string numbers, okay? Um, anything you see together, if there are certain string numbers played together, it might be a bit later on you'll see them in a bracket like that, all right? You'll know that by now, all of you have been with me for a while, but those new to the uh, to the channel will soon pick it up because it really is idiot proof, I promise you. Right, so let's have a quick listen to the track. I'll, I'll just play a section because they'll shout at me again. Told off. <laughs> the bit we're going to learn today the introduction all right so let's begin it's in D minor um, now if anyone struggles with the second shape which is a bit stretchy just use a capo while you're working it out okay I always suggest that you play to the record but you know if you're struggling like hell just put a capo on because one of these the second chord is a little bit of a stretch it's the only tricky one in the whole piece so you know you might struggle with it at first but I'll show you how to practice that you know um, in an easier way in a minute so here's our chord D minor all right as shown quite clearly here and the finger numbers that you'll use to make sure you're playing it the right way and down here we're now going to play this pick in fact we're going to practice the pick first four three two one two three so what's happening four is with your thumb three two one. Keep these fingers orientated in this way. Four, three, two, one, two, three. The next shape is five, three, two, one, two, three. So it's the next. Five, three, two, one, two, three. So it's the next. So. Now just get your fingers used to doing that. Okay? So now we'll put the chord on and we'll play the first one. D minor. Can you see clearly? Four, three, two, one, two, three. Now the stretchy one. Now the way to do this is really clamp down hard with these three fingers. And just get this finger up there. Don't worry if it touches the fourth string. It doesn't matter. Why? Because we're not going to be playing it. So if you feel it touching that fourth string, so what? It doesn't matter. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Okay, that was a five. We followed the bass string. Okay? Do it again from the four, from the D minor. All right, now we're gonna bring up, we're gonna leave fingers one and two where they are, and we're gonna bring finger three up to play this fifth string now at the third fret. And we're gonna put our little finger, where does it go? On the second string down here. We've actually swapped these round, haven't we? So our little finger is now playing the second string at the third fret, all right? Same pick, five, three, two, one, two, three. Let me play those three together. Okay, this one jumps up here and then this one replaces this. Then what happens on the fourth shape? We bring this second finger up to the fifth string at the second fret and we remove our third finger. The others stay on. Same pick. All right, so page one, you should have done. Four, three, two, one, two, three is the first shape. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. 
five, three, two, one, two, three. All right, that's page one, done. And these shapes feature in the verse, by the way, so you're actually learning part of the verse now. The next shape, let's just get to where we were. So that's where we were on page two, your first shape. Now, this finger that's currently sitting on the first string is gonna come up to the fifth. Little finger will stay on the uh, second string of the third fret. Five, three, two, one, two, three, again. Okay, and that's the last of those picks. What happens then? We stay there and we play strings five and two together. We're going to do a rundown. I'll play the rundown so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we're on page two. I'll just repeat that last bit. Five, three, two, one, th two, three. And we'll stay there at that position. Don't forget if you can't quite see what's going on, paperwork will clearly show you where those fingers go. The next shape, uh, with, well the same shape but different pick, five and two together, nice and easy. You'll see these in a bracket because they're played together. Okay, drop your second finger now onto the second string, of the second fret and play five and two again. While that's happening, these your fingers three and four are gonna be jumping up to the bass string of the third fret here and your little finger on the third string also at the third fret. Play six and three. It just takes a bit of practice getting up to there, but just work on these little bits in isolation. Okay. So that's page two done. That was the last of the pick here. Damn, damn, damn. We've just played that. By the way, these shapes when you put fingers on and off have all sorts of interesting names. Uh, and don't think for a minute that I'm clever enough to figure out what they are. I've got one of that reverse chord thing, whatever you call it. Um, and if I can be asked, I'll write it at the top. Um, obviously, clearly I couldn't be on this next bit because um, I don't see anything written on. Doesn't matter, it's not important. It's in A, this bit. Okay, so we're gonna play five and two with the second finger on the second string at the second fret. Then finger one and three playing five and two here. I did one and three, first finger there, three there, five and two again. Move that shape up, same shape to the fourth fret. Then your third finger is going to jump up to the eighth fret and it's going to be greeted by the second finger, which is also going to play the fourth string at the eighth fret. I'll play that bit again. So we've done page three. Done. I'll play that bit again so we know where we are. Now, finger two is going to drop down to your left. One fret. And finger one will now replace finger two. Finger one is now at the sixth fret. Right. Play that together. jump down to the fifth fret and be met by finger three Hello. on the second string where you'll play strings four and two again but you'll do a little hammer and pull off with your little finger so let me play that final run when you've done that finger three you've done you've done the intro now it's finished finger three will now trundle back to fret three you will replace these other two but onto D minor where you will be ready to do. Which is the verse, which is what we'll do next. All right, so I'll go through it one more time. Okay, and 
then into the verse. Now, I'm going to be monitoring uh, how many of you get into this. Um, hopefully, there'll be quite a few of you that want to do it. Um, if not, then I'll, I'll move on to something else. But that doesn't mean to say you can't, those of you who have started, um, can't continue. Because all the paperwork for the whole song is on the blue link. So make sure you download that now. But hopefully enough of you will be interested in doing this. Um, and we can keep go we can keep it going. Uh, a little tip, if you struggle with the uh, that stretch, just put a cap on and you know You know, give yourself a chance, it's like having stabilizers on a bike, and as you get better Oh it's getting better. And eventually you'll take that off. Okay, and do that with lots of songs. You know, when you get stuck, give yourself a chance. Because if you don't, you'll get demoralised on, on, the, on the second shape and then you'll give up and we don't want that to happen. So trust me, um, right, I'm going to be back with you shortly, probably tomorrow with something else. I'm going to give that one time to sink in and I'll be monitoring it. Um, if we get a nice boost of viewers and uh, whatever, then uh, we'll get straight back into the second part. Um, if not, I'll move on to something else and I'll revisit it when, when uh, you've had a chance to learn part one. All right, but until then, my friends... Um, Look after yourselves, and I shall. And get your mates to subscribe. Tell them that this channel is completely free. I'm working on my 19 theatre um, tour now for a play that I've written and produced. Um, and that's going to take up quite a bit of my time shortly. So take advantage of everything that's on this, you know, because this is my little lockdown-y thing, my little contribution to, um, to, you know, to put something back in. I've taken a lot out of the music industry in my life, and it's been fantastic. This is my thing of giving a bit back. So please take advantage of it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.